Hey, what's going on, everybody? Blazer here coming at you with another Naruto Shinobi collection uh, and showcase. All right, this time I finally be getting into this uh, Izuna showcase. I should have been showcased him, but uh, here we are now. Now, I found one of my friends' list that um, has some work done in the potential system, and um, he got uh, all the perfect optimal gears on the Izuna. This is the kind of gear set you want right here. You want the tag. You want his two gears. You want this uh, green thing we got for the, uh, it was the anniversary last year. And... Um, you want this metal you get from uh 3v3, which I, I need to grind 3v3. I need to stop bullshitting and grind 3v3, but yeah. And he actually got a Nindo increase from uh, 1 to 2, so I think this is like the perfect Izuna. The only thing that would have made him better is he was um, Max Nindo, obviously, but yeah, beggars can't be choosers. And then we have my Izuna. He's 1 out of 11. He doesn't have all the optimal gears. He's missing the uh, 3v3 metal, so I kind of just threw that in as, a, I, I guess you could say, a placeholder for right now. And then I'll work on to it in the uh, future. Now we're going to use the nun type team. We're going to use this whole team right here because let's be honest, most of the best nun type units are um, God Slayers and God Leads, you know, 90 cost units. So I'm going to just work with what I got. And there's not really in too many EX um, nun type units. Like, look at this right here the, the, the Obito Nihamura, God Leads, the, the, the Kaguya, God Leads, well, God Slayer and God Leads, the Madara, God Lead, the Indra, God Lead. The Ashura, God lead, so, the, not Sasuke, um, Madara right there, God lead. And then you just keep scrolling. Izuna, not that damn good. Um, uh, scroll down some more, scroll down some more. That Indra, old as dirt. Um, that Izuna, meh. Fucking meh as hell. Um, that Madara, trash. That Obito, still good for just deleting, but that's about it. Just insta kills and shit is really pretty much what his main use ability is. Hagoromo, no. Then you scroll back down. Some you get the point. It's just not not there's not that many non type units that are ex or um, ex destroyer. So we're just gonna have to work on that in the future. But this team we're gonna be running right here. Now we're gonna play in the white orb event, and um, I'm gonna um, tell you guys what he does before I start the white orb event because then you won't know what the fuck he's doing, so you won't know what to look out for. Now, I will get into the Conan banner and all the other stuff later. I'm just waiting on the homie uh, Yuya to get the translations out. So whenever that gets done, I'll uh, drop that out right there. I didn't want to summon because I didn't know exactly what Conan did. Uh, excuse me. I threw it up in um, Google Translate, and it said that she had, like, a um, detonation state. And after three counts, it does a million damage. So um, that's pretty cool. I think she's going to be pretty good, especially on the Akatsuki team. Akatsuki may start trying to rise up again. But um, I wanted to summon on her banner, and I wanted to summon on Taiyuya's banner, because Taiyuya has a befuddled state, like the blue Shisui, where she kind of confuses her enemies into attacking her out, attacking their allies. So I kind of wanted to do that. The befuddled state is nowhere near the level of um, the red Shisui's frenzy state, where you start using chunks of damage, but I kind of wanted to summon on it. Not only would it be helpful to build it up, especially for a female PvP, because for some reason, I feel like that's coming. With the Taiyuya and now the Conan, I kind of have this weird feeling we're going to have a female PvP soon. So I kind of want to stock up on female units because I don't have that many like great female units. Now, let's get into this Izuna now that, that all that um, other stuff's out of the way. Uh, Izuna, his first skill is fire type. Uh, deal 1 million fixed damage and two additional attacks dealing 7% plus 200,000 to one enemy. Grant the flame dance state to self one turn speed plus 200%. Always hit. In the flame dance state, the first one is immune to all skills except for Sharingan. Second one is while under the flame dance state, increased counter while using skill one. A attack and skill damage plus 50 percent per stack. B deal two additional attacks dealing 7% plus 200,000 per stack. The max is 10. Skill two is unique. Um, all allies speed plus 120 percent. Chakra cost minus 50 percent and remove the negative god state. Change the terrain to the penetrating conflagrance. Penetrating some flag, some flag rinse, whatever. I hope I said that fucking word right. Allies. The first one, skill dodge was 150%. Second one is immune to debuffs. Gains you to the status effects. Remove negative special states when in the selection in action. Um, action disabled effects after are removed after the action. Let's mop over to these abilities. Ability one, chakra was 150%. Speed was 250%. If there's enemy god alive. Um, ability two, revive plus two, skip immunity for three turns. Ability three, white type specialization. So that's pretty much that right there. Like I said, this is my best Izuna. I wish I would get him on the level of this Izuna. I do need the uh, that three v three metal to um, make him the best he possibly can be. Because these gears that he got right here are just monsters, especially that he got work done in the potential system for him, which I need to do. Like I got 
bits and pieces done in Madara, like you can see right here at the bottom of the plus one. I got bits and pieces, but working on potential system is pretty tough, unless you're like one of those JP players that are whaling. Now let's take a uh, double drop, and um, let's try to do this one, and then let's try to hop over to the God one real quick after we beat this one, because I want to see what he can do against a uh, God lead, so hopefully we'll run into um, Sasuke and uh, Naruto. And um, instead of Kaguya, but if we run to Kaguya, that's cool because that'd be a guaranteed drop. Oh god damn it! I went up against the um fucking Hagoro, not Hagoro, but the um these two idiots right here. God damn it! Well, let's see. Oh what? Well, actually, this was a benefit because he can crit with this one. He can crit on um, Hashirama. So what we're gonna do is use the second skill, get that skill dodge going, and now we're for I don't know which one is mine, which one is the um the computers, but not the computers, but the uh, friends ones. But we're just gonna go ahead and attack. Have Kagi um, use her second skill. She's not gonna change the terrain, I don't think. I hope she doesn't. No, wait. Does he terrain lock? No, he doesn't terrain lock. What am I talking about? We're gonna swap his terrain back after she does it. So let's see what he can do on Hashirama when he crits. And keep in mind that damage is gonna keep going up too. So yeah, that did nothing. Skill dodge, buddy. All right, let's hop on this with this one right here. Skill dodge, buddy. That skill dodge is monstrous. I'm like, I'm going to use him in PvP. That skill dodge is disgusting. I kind of want to put him and Toby Ramo on the same team. I don't think they're going to work well together. I just you just, I just want to have the brothers of the Sinju <laughs> leaders on a team together just to see how it fucking work. Just because, just for the lulls. Uh, let's try this one again. Let's keep on going. Keep on going. Let's keep it going, baby. Woo, woo, woo. That second one get nasty on you. Thank God Kagi is slower. All right, this is not going to do as much damage as the Hashirama, but I we'll think we'll be fine. Damn, I wish I would have took it in here to get type advantage. But then again, this wasn't bad because he's critting. I wish we could crit and get type advantage. That would be fucking awesome. Let's try this one right here because this should be the third one. Maybe I should attack Toby Rama first to build him up and then attack Hashirama, but it'll be all right. It'll be fine. You guys get the point. Once that count gets up to about three, he starts slapping cheeks. Uh, Madara, you can just drop some meteors on his head. Let's see. Um, yeah, that skill dodge is monstrous. That's disgusting. That skill dodge is fucking disgusting. And the only problem is, you if you want to run other god slayers or god leads on this team, you need to run those that are not like Sasuke. I hate to say it, but uh, I love as much as I love god slayer Sasuke, one of his flaws is that you can't control his terrain state. That that's not good. Him changing to the uh, excuse me, him changing the terrain every time he attacks is a problem. Because sometimes I need to benefit from Chi Sweet's terrain state, which gives us that monstrous fucking skill dodge. That's just it's just meh. Ooh, wee! That skill dodge is disgusting. I didn't think it'd be that bad. I should have expected it to be that bad, especially since um you got the skill, the skill dodge, immune to debuff. It's just, that's a nasty terrain. It looks weird to me. I don't like the way the terrain looks that much. But the fact that it's doing that 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 work is just, ooh. He's opened up their cheeks. When they said penetrating, they went fucking playing. Um, okay. Ooh, what's another one? What's he got on him? He three out of 11. Ooh. Ooh, bitch. I'm using this one. All right. Hopefully, we can run into Naruto and Sasuke because they're god leads. I could take her in the God event. Take not take her. Take him into the God event. Actually, that might be the move right there. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Because I might be able to control this a little bit better because I could take him to God. League. So let's go to the key missions. Let's hop over to the God one right here because they're all God leads. I think Kagi is one too. Let me check. Um, check her tags. Yes, she is a God lead. She's black. Let's see. Um, are any of these white? Hashirama is white. Ah, but I got to get to these two assholes first. I shouldn't be fine, especially if I get my terrain state. Gosh, okay. What about this one right here? Are any of these white? Mm, nope, not the god leads. What about this one? You know what? I ain't going to be no bitch. We just going to play this one right here. We don't do that bitch shit. We going to do one of the difficult ones to call it a day. Um, I would like to take Kaguya, but uh, I can't. I want to take... Um, another um, Izuna. I want to find another Izuna that was just on my list. I hope I can find him. That way we can uh, use him. Oh, that Naruto. Max the fuck out, boy. That's a nasty Naruto. Um, let's hop back over again. Let's try it again. Damn, I wish I wish I could get him. I'm trying to get him. I want that Izuna. That Izuna was, uh, that Izuna was nicely built up. 
If I can't get him, I'll just throw Kagi on the team. If I can't get him, I'll just throw Kagi on the team. I want him, though. I want him. That model not looking bad either with that potential work into him. I got to work on my potentials, too, man. I got to quit playing. Um, damn it. Come on. Don't do this to me. Oh, my gosh. I want it. I want it. Ah, oh, no. I can't find it. What do you have on you? Oh, you, 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 you. Oh, no. That's speed. Oh, God. That's just that. 469. I can't do nothing with that. That's some, yes. Oh, bitch. We got a better one. Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, boy. All right. Cool. 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 We good. Oh, no. Wait. We can't take all the guys right here. We can only take one. Can we only take one? No. The fucking limitations. Hold on. Hold on. Can we only take one? Let me see something. Oh, no, he went through. Okay, what the fuck did that fucking tag? God damn it, that shit confused me. Because I was over there looking like, can we only take one? What the fuck's going on? Oh, well, fuck it. Let's just see what these two can do on the team together by themselves. And I forgot to take a double drop with me. Shit. Fuck. Let's see. They on the team together by themselves. Fuck it. We just gonna make it work. We're gonna make it work, everybody. <laughs> All right, you hit, uh... Ah, uh, fuck. I need your terrain. No, I don't. Go. No, I don't. Oh, no, but he got it first anyway. Perfect. All right, this must be the uh, the uh, friend one. No, it isn't. It is mine. Because I can see the yellow circle around it on top. Okay, that is mine. That is attack. Woo! Okay, let's get it. Let's see what they can do, baby. We're going to have to aim for Hashirama first. And the amount of damage they're doing, he ain't really doing nothing. All right, let's see what that skill dodge is doing. Come on, baby. You ain't hurting us with that skill dodge. Come on. Quit playing, bitch. You can't hurt us. Y'all can buff yourself all you fucking want to, ho. Come on, baby. Let's get it. All right. Seconds count. Woo! Second count for the friend one. All right. Third count. Third count. Let's see. Because we right between the two of us. We could just clap his cheeks up. I wish I could have brought Mata to fuck. Woo, bitch. Bitch, you ain't doing nothing, boy. Oh, yeah, we critting, too, like a motherfucker. And I think, we, yeah, we got type advantage, too. We got type advantage and we're critting. That's perfect. He is doing chunks of damage. I wish he could kill a little bit faster. Just a little bit faster. So, but then again, I probably could fix that if I took an actual, um, you know, a, a, another leader that increased the skill damage by a larger amount than just 80 percent with his leader skill but that's fine oh that count's still going up too bitch oh bitch that count going up like a motherfucker what was the max stack again 10 actually i'm gonna throw this on auto for right now and we're just gonna let this play out because i forgot the max stack was 10 oh my god do you see all them numbers Woo! bitch you gone Damn, I wish I would took a double drop. It's all right, though. It's all right. I'm not going to I'm not gonna dwell on it. It's not a problem. It's not a problem. It's just the two of them on the team, too. That skill dodge is disgusting. That skill dodge should be cheating. They have not hit him once. That skill dodge is unfair. Oh, my God. Damn it. We ain't going to be able to land under the additional, so this might take a longer. Take a little bit longer to kill him. Ah... Oh, we can't get those additionals. Mm. Damn it. In this event, he's good if you have him. If you don't mind taking a little bit longer to uh, kill the enemy. Because you got the skill dodge. So you, we, you can see we're fine. And then on top of his, his skill dodge and his terrain, he um, has his shot cost is minus by 50. So, And they can't change their terrain. The terrain is stuck like this because none of them can change their terrain. And the terrain doesn't change back by itself. So he's just going to... He's going to be stuck here, baby. And I think our count went back, but that's fine. It's no biggie. We still have the terrain. Uh, we might need to f use our second skill again, but that's fine. It's fine. We're good. We got the terrain helping us. So that skill dodge is just fucking stupid. That's... Well, actually, the skill... No, actually, his terrain doesn't do anything for his, uh, his chakra cost. That's his second skill. But the uh, terrain just uh, makes him immune to debuffs and uh, skill dodge. That skill dodge is horrible. That skill dodge is something disgusting. I would be mad as fuck if somebody did that to me. 
And then one of his first abilities, his chakras gets buffed. And then uh, his speed gets buffed by 250%. There's an enemy god alive. And there's two enemy gods alive. So his speed is stupid right now. Look at this. We're just chopping down his motherfucking health like a tree. It's a slow it's a slow grind up there, but we're doing it. And even if they did somehow kill him, his second ability allows him to revive twice. And he can't be skipped for three turns. Which were probably which were way fucking past, but that's fine. That's fine. And he's immune to skill damage because of his gear. His um hatred for you Chia makes him immune to fixed damage. And for three turns his chalk cost is set to zero. And for two turns he's immune to skill he's immune to fixed damage. Well, then again, it doesn't make immune to physical damage for the entire turn. I read that backwards for some reason. Okay, well, that's still good. His um, his first skill make him immune to fixed damage. Well, then you don't really need the immunity to fix damage. Because of his skill dodge. His skill dodge is so disgusting, you really don't need to be immune to skill damage. You just dodge every fucking thing. So well, you don't really don't even need his hatred for the Senju. It's nice, but you don't need it. Especially for the truck cost being set to zero. Izuna's belt. Uh, his HP regen is plus 33%. So his HP is just regening too. Uh, cast speed plus one. Additional cast speed plus one. The HP is above 80%. So his cast speed is being buffed monstrously too. That's another reason I want to take um, Madara as the leader. Because I think he buffs none type um, cast speed by one. And uh, something else. I forgot what exactly what the um, EX, not EX, but God Slayer Madara did. But he, he buffed it a large amount. But uh, this video is probably going to carry you on long as shit because he is just taking forever to kill this um this Ashura. Y'all get the point. He, he look, He's dead right now. And I think he, after that, he's going after Naruto. So after he kills this um this Ashura, if Naruto doesn't get additional damage done to him, I will um I'll uh, stop the video and uh, we'll call it quits on this. Because I think you guys get the point. I think I've made my point. Like, you can't hurt this motherfucker. I can't wait to take him into PvP. It's another reason I really want to get because really want to get the um, female team going because if they end up having a female PVP, that's gonna fuck up all my plans. Cause I really want to use him in PVP, boy. I might grind PVP now because he can't be hurt. You believe really put this dude on your team and you can't be fucking hurt. You can put anybody in this team. That's why another reason I want to try him with Toby Rama together because you can't hurt each other. They can't hurt. One of them the god lead, and it says enemy god, so. Yeah, so you can, you won't, you using any of your abilities won't hurt this Hashirama. Uh, not Hashirama, Toby Rama. Yeah, I might throw him on a team together. I might throw him on a team together for the lulls. We're going to do that. We're going we gonna to do that, especially with Tayuya, because she can put you in a befuddled state. It's not only are you going to end up befuddled in a place where you can't hurt yourself, hurt the enemy, you're hurting your team. So I might throw him and Tayuya on a team together, just make a disgusting ass team. That might be a disgusting team. And if you throw Shisui on there just for good measure, just because just you just want to be an asshole, you can do that. Or even the um, origin uh, Jiraiya. Ew, and you can't be hurt. And don't put a god on the fucking team. Oh, god, don't do that. Or put Madara on the team. You don't even need to use Madara. If you just want to use Madara because you want to be in a locked terrain, then that's one thing. Madara is disgusting, too, in his own right. But, uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this video right here. I didn't ramble on long enough. Y'all get the point. This easy. This Izuna is disgusting. He is was worth the stones. He's worth all that stuff right there. But that's going to be it for this video right here, guys. You guys like this video? Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. All that bullshit. This mean boy, Blazer. Peace out.